Welcome to Link Salvage. This video demonstrates the process for salvaging a Class II reactor. Careful disassembly and removal of reactors maximizes the supply of salvage parts and potential credits earned by shipbreakers. To perform this procedure, you will need your Link's issued work suit, a modular laser cutter, and a handheld utility grapple with tether capability. Before you begin salvaging a Class II reactor, we recommend that you remove as much of the ship's outer hull as possible. Before you begin this procedure, you must have clear access to the ship's reactor, thrusters, and environmental control unit, or ECU. In this example, a Gecko-class ship has been stripped of its outer hull. Its reactor and thrusters are exposed. The reactor has two pipes connected to it. The fuel pipe connects to the ship's thrusters. The purple lights on the fuel pipe indicate that fuel remains in the lines. Cutting them at this time will cause the pipes to explode. The blue pipe connects the reactor to the ship's environmental control unit or ECU. The ECU provides coolant to the reactor. Blue lights on the coolant pipe indicate the presence of coolant. In this state, you should not rupture the pipe as it will cause freezing damage both to nearby equipment and yourself. Activating your helmet display scanner mode may help you identify the location of these components on the ship. Once you have confidently located the reactor, thrusters, and ECU, it's time to begin salvaging. Your first step is to turn the thruster ejection switches for each thruster connected to the reactor. These switches are at the junction between the thruster and the fuel pipe. After the ejection switches are turned, the purple lights on the fuel pipe will turn off. This indicates that the fuel pipe is safe to cut. Next, make your way to the ECU. Use your grapple tool to remove the access panel on the front of the unit. Inside the ECU are three small coolant canisters. Use your grapple to pull them loose one at a time, then collect them for salvage. As soon as you remove the last coolant tank, the reactor will lose stability. You will need to move quickly at this point as you will have limited time before the reactor melts down and explodes. Hurry back to the reactor, then use your laser cutter to sever the fuel and coolant pipes. To prevent reactor damage, we recommend that you set your laser cutter to pinpoint mode. Switch to your grapple, then run a tether between the bottom of the reactor and the barge. As soon as the reactor is pulled free of the ship, disable the tether. Use your grapple to pull three panels from the reactor's housing. This will expose the reactor's core. Use your grapple to pull this core sideways out of the housing. Use another tether to pull the reactor core down to the barge. The barge's stasis field will stabilize the reactor. Finally, use your grapple and tethers to send the reactor housing to the processor. Valuable object processed. Credits awarded. 
Congratulations, you've just salvaged a Class II reactor. From here, you can safely salvage the thrusters and ECU. Happy salvaging, and thank you for your continued service to Link Salvage, a cut above the rest.